Welcome to my channel at home with Carla. This is where I share my almost daily life with my family, friends, pets, some DIY projects, and even some cooking. So thanks for watching and let's get started. Welcome. Yesterday we had about 10 inches of snow here in Wisconsin. And according to the map here, there is more coming. Some is snowing out right now. And I don't know how much we're going to get. But I'm really happy that it's going to probably be our last snowfall of the year. So yay for that. Well, I got my tires and rims all put on. I'm so glad. No more filling up the tires. Oh my gosh. So now I'm just stopping at the Hobby Lobby for a minute. Well, I decided not to go into the Hobby Lobby after all. I stopped into Michael's and bought some candles and I'll show you my mantle. But um, yeah, it started to sleet and snow. The roads were getting slippery. So I just decided to head on home. And um, yeah, a lot of snow for April is um, not real unusual here, but sometimes we have beautiful Aprils. But this year it decided to dump a whole bunch of snow on us, but oh well, spring is right around the corner. To take off these lights, they're my battery operated lights that I got at Michael's last year. And I'm going to put them over there on the mantle. And I'll show you that in a minute. Well, here is the mantle. So back up a little bit here. And I found these out at Michael's. They're some flowers. They were on clearance. They were regular $4. But what I did was I cut them and then just tucked them in here. I'm not a home decorator by any means, but it's kind of fun to experiment anyway. And this was only $9.99, this ivy, I think it's called. And I that went all the way across there. So I thought, well, that will fit my mantle. So I did that. And then I just tucked in the little birds and the chickens and my plant handle. And now I'm going to try to get my lights in there and see how that looks. Well, I'm pretty proud of myself so far. Everything is breakable up here. The glass lights, the ceramic little birds, and I haven't broken anything yet. So <laughs> yay for Carla. But um, yeah, I'm just kind of tucking it in there. I don't have them on there yet. I set it over there and then I'm going to keep weaving that in over there. And then I'll show you again when I get there. You have it. I didn't break anything. Not that I'm a clumsy person. It's just... Sometimes I get in a hurry and I um, just want to get it done. But it turned out pretty good, I guess. Um, bit, little battery-operated lights. So that's my spring decoration. I thought I would leave the light hanging. I don't know. What do you think? Does that look okay there or not? Um, maybe I'll bring it back through over here. I don't know yet, <laughs> Kind of a mystery. It kind of lightens up that dark corner in a way, too. So, But I have a lot of cleaning and things to put away. This was given to us. It's a brand new top fin under what, underwater worlds. So I'm going to put that on Craigslist just because we don't need it. It was given to us a while back. It's a three and a half gallon cute little aquarium. I haven't even taken it out yet. but But I did put some of these little flowers in my aloe vera plant too to brighten it up and here's the dog bowl and garbage bag as i told you yeah i got things to get done that's one of my projects for today my other flowers that i have i'm going to put outside here because it won't be long and the snow will be gone but i'm going to put it in with my lilies that i have here that got buried under the snow. <laughs> I thought spring was really here, but I guess not. So I'll just kind of get them out of there a little bit. My little froggy full of snow. Look at <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to tuck a few in there and then rearrange it when it gets nicer out. But I'm just going to pop them in there for now. They're little. I think they're so cute. I really like them. 
but I'm just like I said pop them in there for now and then once all the snow is gone I'll be able to do a better job but there thanks spring our son cleared the driveway and got some snow piled up but anyway here's my new tires and rims I I like them a lot and not to get in the mud here but yeah no more filling the tires every day that was really getting old and hard on the back so I'm so glad I couldn't vlog yesterday because there was a lady in there and I started a conversation with her and then we ended up talking half the time I was there so I wasn't able to vlog but really nice and then after she left this older gentleman came in um, and started a conversation with me so then we ended up talking the rest of the time we were in there about his kids not being able to go to Florida to um, go to a wedding because of the weather here in Wisconsin really nice people everybody wants spring as soon as possible my favorite whale now is thrive it was peppermint i used and bought those at walmart for 4.95 a piece and now thrive is there for the same price so i am going to put a few drops in here there kind of a calming effect today So, but yeah, and then I also picked up some um, Vanilla Sky oil at the Dollar General, Family Dollar. I think it was 2 or $3 for this. Oh, I've never seen that before. That's different. What is that? Kind of some weird contraction on there. Huh. What is that? That's weird. I'm going to pick at it and see what it is. It has like a metal thread to it that goes to this little chip thing. I suppose it will go buzzing on the door if I try to st steal it or something, but that's just weird. I've never seen it. Fast forward mop. I know you didn't make that mess, Mindy. Somebody else did. I'll get you another bed in a little bit. Until then, Ringer has to stay in his bed. That could sh Let's see. That is. <clears throat> it up <laughs> see what it is oh yeah it's our multi-pack ink cartridges we ran out of ink the other day and he finds them really cheap online so pretty happy they're here now got some projects I want to work on cat food away. That's a good place to store them up there. Look at my onion. It wants to grow in the in the bag. <laughs> well if it would get <clears throat> warm enough I would plant them out in the garden. Daddy brought home some cream of chicken soup. Brought home a whole bunch of these rice bags which I love because they're so easy to make, but um, they're a really good brand. Rice side chicken, rice pasta, blend in a savory chicken flavored sauce. It's downstairs on the grocery shelves. Somebody's thirsty. <laughs> anyway, I got the fireplace pretty much cleared off. I still have a lot to do, but I wanted to mention these candles I got at Michael's. They're called Cotton Blossom. Oh my gosh. 
they smell so good. If you have a Michaels near you, I highly recommend these. They're so flavorantly good. They're I like them better than vanilla. I liked vanilla vanilla before, but these are really nice. Um, well, I found out through texting back and forth with my daughter that the sirens that I heard earlier are tornado testing sirens going off today. And so I guess they're going to go off again later today, too, and possibly all this week. So well, that's good to know. But I'll end here for today. And I just want to thank you for watching. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. My emotions for the day. Yeah, I don't mean to be a big baby, but um, I really did like my job, you know. And people would come in and they really appreciate me and bring in Christmas gifts every Christmas. And they just, you know, it just feels really good to be appreciated, you know, for my doing my work. But um, I don't know. I just feel, you know... I'm just going to miss them so much. You know, change of life isn't easy sometimes, but I guess this is probably a new beginning of something, you know, recovery and um, moving forward, hopefully to go back to work. And um, maybe I'll find something else to do in life. I'm interested in soap making, but, you know, I don't know the first thing about making soap, so, you know. But anyway, um, back to checking the weather channel.